Hey, welcome back, everybody. Imagine trying to navigate the world as a blind person. It cannot be easy, but there is some technology out there that does help the visually challenged. Jeff Lamontia from Missouri Council of the Blind is here, along with Ben. How do you say your last name, Ben? Versalone. Versalone. Ben Versalone of Rehabilitation <laughs> Services for the Blind to show us some of this technology and tell us how you can enjoy, as I mentioned earlier, some live music and help raise money to get these people the help that they need. What a great idea. Absolutely, yeah. It's good to see you, Jeff. What is this all about? What are we raising money for? Well, honestly, we are raising money for adaptive technology for folks who are blind and legally blind in the state of Missouri. This is a big time deal. Uh, it's $10,000 that we're trying to raise uh, for folks who have visual impairments. And what this means is that, you know, honestly, there's so much technology out there that allows folks to, to perform in the workplace mm -hmm. and allows folks, folks to be successful. And we're just trying to help provide that funding for those individuals. And we appreciate that because yeah, a lot of us, right. you know, take our vision for granted. Sure, you know, you are visually mm -hmm. impaired to some degree. I'm legally blind, yeah. You are legally blind? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't realize you were completely legally blind, but yeah. you, you know, um, I see you at the thrift store all the time because it's <laughs> one of my favorite places. Ben, talk about what all you do, and you're going to show us a couple of pieces of this technology that people can use that will actually help people, you know, gain full-time employment, which is what people want, because there are some people out there with it that have uh, vision impairments that don't work and want to work, correct? That, that's correct, and a big part of it is um, the part that I help folks with is independent travel. Um, some of the technology I'm showing, in fact, really, really none of it is as essential as the long white cane or the guide dog, mm -hmm. but um, since I was asked to talk about technology, there definitely is some that can help in the workplace and and with uh, travel. So, okay, um, real quick, why don't you show us both of these? Okay, so I have um, two devices here. The f first one um, is my computer, and which is right in front of me. If we need to hold something for you, yeah. we can. But this, go ahead. This will be fine. And uh, my computer uh, is a regular one. It has a a piece of software on it that reads what is on the screen and um, I also have a braille device that can I can feel what the screen reader that I just mentioned is displaying so I can read uh, text either through my uh, through, through listening uh, or through reading it with with braille I can enter text with a braille keyboard each key is like one of the corresponding to one of the braille dots I can do the full QWERTY keyboard too this is basically the real, you know, Windows 10, so there's mm -hmm. a lot of power there. I can also use an iPhone. I won't demonstrate that, but that's, that's very popular as well. It's simpler. That's but, amazing. So wow. you can, it, it can yeah. read to you what's right. on the screen, but I mm -hmm. love that you can also use the Braille here, mm -hmm. which is fascinating to me because yeah. you, you know, um, that's, uh, what, what does this set you back yeah, what does if you were to buy do? that? What? What would it cost what you, question? roughly? Okay, uh, mm -hmm. this one is around $3,000. Wow. Uh, more or less, it's close to that. And then the this braille device wow. for the jaws that you have on your computer, right? What is that? Nine hundred dollars, right? Uh, more or less, yes. There, there's uh, free screen readers that are much closer to the capability of jaws than in the past. But jaws is still the best for work. Win window eyes that was the other professional one. It's no longer being. Uh, um, manufactured, whatever the software verb is for that. So yeah, developed. <laughs> so JAWS is uh, pretty pricey. But it's well, that's what they're going to raise money for. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you how to get to that in a second. But you also have a tablet that you can, and you help people sort of learn travel and navigation mm -hmm. and things like that. And what Ben can do is take that tablet, draw something on the tablet, and it raises it up so he can hand the non-seeing person oh, the tablet okay. and then they can feel it. Right. Almost like a piece of braille. Is so, that what you have there? Yeah. Yeah. This is a, um, there's a rubber board with a plastic sheet on it and a stylus. And if you push down with a little pressure, um, you can, uh, and slide the stylus across, you can make a raised line drawing. So I will just make a um, very basic um, Plus sign here. This is uh, with time con constraints. Uh, if you know, this is not really. This is extremely basic. Even a street intersection illustration. I, I would make it much more detailed than that. But but you can feel there's there's two raised lines there that cross each oh, other. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Um, mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you can feel that. So this this is not something I use all of the time, but it's helpful for at least two main things. One is if there's an unfamiliar area that you know a blind person would say, oh, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words. Well, voila, I can make you a picture and tell me if it makes sense. The other big thing is that if I want to test somebody's knowledge of an area who is uh, blind or they have no use, usable vision, they can draw what they think it looks like, and I can verify. You know, so we can make sure we're on the same page. So if they're wanting to walk through like a diverging diamond intersection, mm -hmm. because there are places to walk through, mm -hmm. can you that. imagine trying to explain to someone what that is like who is visually impaired? I, through words, probably not. Through this through kind something of technology, like this? Yeah. absolutely. I think yeah. it would be a lot easier than through just talking about it. Yeah, that's just amazing. All right, so let's talk about how we can raise this money this weekend. You have a heck absolutely. of a show going on at the Outland. <laughs> we do. Yep, so Outland. On Saturday, we're going to have this thing start at 8 p.m. This is this Saturday, March 2nd. And we have quite a few artists that are going to be in attendance for the show who will volunteer their time and their prowess to be out there. And so we have Moon City, we have Bad Dog No Biscuit, uh, we have um, Hendrix and Craig Band, just to name a few. We've got some comedy out there, Tom Gray and a few others that are going to be participating there. The whole goal is to raise funding for folks who are blind and legally blind. Guys, we're going to do it. We're going to have a little bit of fun out there at the same time. So you've got three acoustic bands, we do. three bands, three comedy acts for ten dollars. That's it. Ten dollar. You cover. should have charged. Cool. <laughs> what was he thinking? I, don't, I mean, no, no. I mean, I think that once people get in the door and learn a little bit about it, they might actually do something else, which is go to your GoFundMe page. That's right. So we're going to talk about that at the show as well. That's our first time we're going to fully kick this thing off. Um, and so we're going to give opportunity for folks to, to really see that. We're going to have a pop-up thrift store there, so I'm excited about that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you know me. And then our adaptive technology guru, Denny Huffy, is going to be out there. He's going to be showcasing some of the adaptive technology to the public as well. So that's a great time to get to kind of see all that. It's going to be great. And if you do go to their GoFundMe page, I would recommend that you click right there on that video and watch it because you get to get to see some people using yes. some of this technology and mm -hmm. talking about how it helps them in their daily lives. And you just kicked this campaign off. Yes. So we've got a while to go, but we want everybody who's watching to do their part for sure. Jeff of Council of the Blind and Ben of Rehabilitation Services for the Blind, thank you guys very much. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you guys for having us. We well, really appreciate it. We're that. glad to have you on. And next time you do one of these, please let us know. For Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Ozarks Live will be right back. Stick around. I love this.